What's up, ladies and gents? Dapper Ross here with... I'm Sterling Jordan. And today we are back with another episode of... I'm Doki Sterling Doki Jordan. Literature. <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. Everybody snap. I'm Sterling Jordan. I'm Sterling Jordan. <laughs> I'm Sterling Jordan. Can you at least read your lines? Yes. I'm Sterling Jordan. <laughs> I was I was doing a poppy reference. All right, anyway. so something was wrong with Sairi. Monica's dealing with it, and we're sitting here not talking to Yuri. I'm Sterling like we want Jordan. to on episode nineteen. I'm Sterling Jordan. What? All right, so why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly, I notice Yuri peeking uh, at me from over her book. But she looks away just as quickly uh, oh, with a flustered look on her. I realize that she won't get a- anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone and start a conversation over her own accord. No. So I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier to me to do that. Oh, God. I stand up on- from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, I-, I didn't mean to bother you or anything. You are never a bother. Oh. Precious, but I could tell you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? My thoughts are weird. How do? You, how are you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, how do you? How did you know I was thinking? <laughs> well, it's something that I do a lot: is think. <laughs> so it wasn't hard for me to spot based on your posture and expression. Trying to like that. Kind of like that, uh, that, that crane stance. What, what is that? Crane to, stance I'm trying to master. That's what I'm yeah. trying to master right now. N- not that I was staring or anything. I didn't want to do anything creepy like that. I really hope she did the thing where it's like a girl catches a guy staring at her boobs. And then, like, whenever you finally make eye contact, you look up and around the room like you were following something, not her <laughs> boobs. I really hope Yuri did that when we looked at her. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you uh, any concern. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find the most comfort in keeping to themselves, like me. And Aiden. But if you and, would and, prefer to share and what's cla- on your mind. <laughs> and classy Aiden. <laughs> Then I would be glad to listen. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. Monica's handling it. And I don't want to spread uh, rumors like I am doing. <laughs> Currently. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? God, the way you say it. <laughs> yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can, so I can't help but wonder if something uh, happened to her. <laughs> How am I guessing these lines will they even come up? God, I really got into my character. <laughs> That's quite romantic. Eh? S- sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. Yeah. It's not that. It's just I didn't want you to misunderstand. Oh God, I want to run. Sorry, and I have just been friends uh, for a long time. That's all. I'm so embarrassed. Ah, I see. You could say we've grown very close. <laughs> very close. Very close indeed. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be dismissive about your uh, to you. To be, uh, God, motherfucking shit. Motherfuck. God damn it. Then perhaps it is unusual for her to be so dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just reading into it a little bit too much. Fuck it, Sean. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain, beneath plain sight. And there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah. So you think that there might be something behind it after all? Mmm, I think that uh, Sayori is a very complex person. God, the way you say her name, it, ting- it tingles. <laughs> Just, oh. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head right now. And she may not always know what she wants. I noticed her strange behavior today too. 
and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupied in her your thoughts, wasn't she? You're so wise, like an owl. I'm a sage. Well, <laughs> yeah, or a sage. I'm a sage. Sage, let me you're... Go, let me go sage some tea over here. Let me go sage some tea. Let me go make some sage tea over uh, here. I, I messed that up. <laughs> I, I guess, uh, I guess that's the case. Sayori, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? As a friend, yes. But you don't need to put it that way. You're, you're just, <laughs> we're just good friends, that's all. Ugh. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious, as if she's searching for something. Mm. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Fuck you! I'm, you piece of shit! I'm staring straight into your soul. Sometimes, a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware you were in. <laughs> that is, I think that... She would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you, you've given me too much, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple guy. Simple issues, like EverQuest. <laughs> that shit game. <laughs> what the fuck is EverQuest? It's, I don't fucking know, I just know it's bad. <laughs> I think it's like RuneScape, but worse. <laughs> It's basically Pong, but it's called EverQuest. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever this game is, it's being shitted on hard by Dapper over here. I Fuck. mean, I'm just not a fan of the classics. <laughs> like, point and click games. I'm not a fan of them. I don't know. I was, I, I was thinking more along the... Or like, visual novels. I was thinking more along the lines of, like, fucking Minecraft with, like, r <laughs> Minecraft RuneScape. Is what I'm saying. Fucking it Kong is. Jesus. It, it, anyways. <laughs> so, so I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly so sophisticated as you. Ah. Uh, that's not a compliment, is it? I never got one of those. It is what it is. In my childhood. I God, that's such a be. fucking retarded answer. It is what it is. <laughs> anyways, as long as we're here, do you want to do some reading? Well, well, we're in the literature club. <laughs> as long as you're okay with it here in the literature club. Yeah, you want to make some tea? As always. It should be uh, taking my mind off the whole thing anyways. Dots. Okay, everyone. After some, after some time passes, Monica calls out to the classroom. Why don't we share our poems? God damn it, I forgot about this part. Oh no, God. No. Before before I know it, everyone is back everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. And I make eye ta contact with my with Mon fucking god damn it. <laughs> I make Monica. eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. <laughs> I wonder what she was talking about with Sire. Who are we gonna show our poem to first? Monica. The well, that was an interesting choice. I thought it was gonna be, gonna be Yuri, but all right. Hell no, we're saving that shit for last. Yeah. Hi, Bakachan. <laughs> Have you thought about what you what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I don't. Was that a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> Snaps. Yes. <laughs> well. Being in the club in the first thing, being prepared in front of a bunch of people, uh, I'll have to give it some thought. Okay, no pressure. You're just reading in front of everybody. The whole <laughs> no. and the whole future of the club relies on this. So we're you staring into the eyes of your soul right we're now. We're staring into the eyes of your fucking soul we're right judging now. Hard. You're the next president of this club after I resign, so you need <laughs> to fucking get your shit together right now. <laughs> but whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. I would also make- it would also make me happy to see. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk a little about the poem today. Fuck. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm kinda- I'm hitting that point where my brain- No, I'm hitting that point where my brain just doesn't want to work anymore. Yeah, no. Sure! I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in her- in my hands. Dots. <laughs> Your style's gotten so refined, Bakachan. 
Yuri's been teaching you a little, a lot of shit, hasn't she? <laughs> well, you could say that she's taught me a few tricks. Yeah, a little thing here and there. You never know. Yeah, you know, it's you know, in and out of the bedroom. Just the I mean, usual. I mean, not in the bedroom. It's totally normal stuff, like like uh, normal stuff, like writing poems, like and, like how to shower. And we talked about Monica. We talked about you a little bit. Uh, just, 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 just a tad. Yeah, I've noticed how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard, I think I've heard her say more words these past couple days than she's talked in her the whole year. Oh, jeez. Not sure how you did it, but that's pretty impressive. Well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things that's in her head, in her brain. I guess. In her mind, vagina. <laughs> what? I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Like I just said, mind vagina. That's I'm, weird. Yeah, I am, hmm. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna... We're just gonna go past that like I didn't say that? Exactly. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. I can tell. <laughs> you must really like her. Uh, that's... <laughs> Swan pose. I, oh, I, it's always, it's always fucking, god damn it. It's always <laughs> suspicious, you know? Awful. I, that wasn't even the word I was having trouble with. <laughs> <laughs> Spending time with her in the club room every day, reading that edgy novel of yours. Turns out it's out, don't you? Well, well, it just, I just... I feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. I have a hard time with speaking, so I got that. <laughs> it makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone, Baka-chan. Oh, I'll always be beside Besides, you. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know? Alright, alright. I get it. Just be careful already. I know, you, I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So it's something bad happens while she's vulnerable, then it could be very hard for her. Oh. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. I'm sorry? You you think I'm gonna hurt her? Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. If anything, uh, she might accidentally hurt you. Herself. Like she hurt me a little bit ago like two days she put me on the fucking ground <laughs> she fucking stomped my ass she had my ass on the floor she grilled me i'll share my poem with you now all right like a steak. um <laughs> all right the lady who knows everything an old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth the lady who knows everything a beautiful lady who found every answer all meaning all purpose and all that ever and all that was ever sought and i am her a feather lost adrift in the sky victim to the currents of the wind day after day i search i search with little hope knowing legends don't exist but when all else has failed me when all others have turned away the legend is all that remains the last dim star glimbling in the twilight, or in the... I, I don't know what that is. Twilts? Twilight sky. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall. I fall and I fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather. A dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. A hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows that what I am thinking. Before I can ask, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only to impress. Only the impossible. We seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back adrift. And I pick up wait, a wait, gust wait, of don't wind. Exit out. Don't exit out. Go back up. All the way, all the way back up. I want to see something. Okay. 
Are you trying to find meaning where meaning isn't? Because there's a lot of meaning in this poem. Yes, I, I see that. I, I already catch that right now. I kind of there's there was one particular line. I'm trying to see it. Go down would a you, little bit. Would you like to? Uh, let's see. Wait, wait, no, no, don't go back. Good. I know, I know. Huh? You see it, Sterling. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Okay. Uh, shit. How do I say this? Do you like poems, Jordan? Does this does this connect with you? No, 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 no. I feel like this uh, is a cry for help. No, no, it's not a cry for help. Kind of. It's not. I'm trying to get a certain vibe from this. All right. It's it, it's the Southern Belle voice, isn't it? <laughs> you know, you'll have to explain yourself next time. She knows something. Is she, all. Know, she, she knows, knows something, something that you're implying. Yes. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that out next time on Doki Doki Literature Club. Take it easy. Stay sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> What's sweaty?